yeah, it's fall and I'm looking at my uh, ski boards and skis and everything right now. And someone asked me, what's my favorite pair of ski boards? I have about five pairs um, from all different companies. Um, probably my go-to pair of ski boards is uh, this pair of, um, uh, from um, Snow Jam. Um, these are uh, 90, uh, 90 centimeters. Um, they're just wonderful. I've got these riser step-in bindings, which is great. Four screws, take them out, throw them on my other ones. Good in step-in bindings. What I love about these is they're just, they're just great all-purpose skis. I live in Winter Park, Colorado. I'll go, um, I'll go in light powder with these. I have much longer ski boards for when the powder gets deep. Um, but if you, these are good old snow jams. They're one of the least expensive um, ski boards out there. Um, they're just easy to turn and spin. They're great in the moguls. Um, they're just a fun, good old purpose thing. I always tell people, you know, um, just they're easy to carry. I mean, you know, they're, they're, you see some of these people with these really super long, uh, overpriced thousand dollar skis and there's $400 bindings and their $300 boots and everything. And I've just, you know, I've got a good old pair of, uh, I'll talk about my boots. I like Nordica rear entry boots. They're warm, they're comfortable. It's one buckle and that's perfect for me. Um, I'm a ski boarder. I loved doing uh, tricks. Uh, I like moguls and um, these snow jams are just perfect for that. So if you can see them, you can find them used on eBay and stuff. They're really good. Um, but if you want to get into ski boarding, uh, be, uh, in other words, be a smart skier or ski, ski boarder, these are so much better. Um, I, you know, uh, I was raised by a German father and we used to do our skis where you'd hold your hand over your head and that's how you measured skis. They were long, it was cumbersome. The boots were uncomfortable in those days. Um, and it's just, it was torture. Okay. And I love skiing, but the equipment sucked and then the equipment got better, but it was still, couldn't do the, you're exhausted at the end of the day. Ski, my daughter turned me on to ski boarding and about, about eight, 15 years ago. And I can't get off these. My, my regular long skis, you see them in the back, they sit there. I don't take them out. Um, because I love these so much. So uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about different ski boards, uh, uh, just because um, it's fun to turn on new people to it. Uh, I get on the chairlift or something. What are those? Uh, what happened to your skis? Did they shrink in the dryer? Uh, stuff like that. Um, but they, when they see me go down the mountain, and I go pretty fast, and I do a lot of spins and stuff, they'll say, where do I get those? So uh, this is definitely, the majority is not always right when it comes to skiing and snowboarding. Talk to you later. Thanks for listening.